Welcome back to VEDS. Today we are going to be diving down into a very weird rabbit hole. It's called r slash deep into YouTube. I've been subscribed to this subreddit for a couple months and I've watched the occasional video here and there, but I quickly decided that I wanted to save those videos and then make live reactions to them on camera. These are small videos, usually under 500 views from channels that only have a couple of subscribers. Come to think of it, almost all my videos could count, but they're not your typical YouTube video in the sense that when we think of YouTubers, we think of personality-driven content from people. These can be a little different. Let's get started. The first one that I'm gonna, and I've, I've watched this one. Most of these I haven't watched, but I have watched this one, but I don't remember a ton of it. Uh, it's the, the title of the video is called Realness, but it was posted too, uh, too deep into YouTube by Cheese Perger. So this rat, dog, cheetah kyber thing, I think that's the only thing really off-putting about this most of this is just kind of intentionally trash animation and I'll be honest I've seen a lot of this I helped run a film festival for four years and people love very intentional oh oh I'm not sure how I feel about that last image but people love very intentional ugly um, CG mixed with glitch art. I'm afraid I'm gonna get demonetized if I stick on this video for too long. What I'll say about this video is it's like kind of tier one weird and for me that just kind of doesn't do it. Um, the song actually I don't hate um, and there is kind of I guess this is a beauty clinic right here so I guess there's kind of an idea about um, beauty standards. The music I dig, the visuals and stuff, I think I've just, I've seen so much stuff like it. Okay, this one was posted on Reddit by Albert Kadar. Uh, it's entitled, A Dog Attacks a Robot Dog in Front of a Family, Somewhere in Sweden, 2012. YouTube really, there was, there's kind of a clear idea of what YouTube is now, but I feel like there wasn't such a clear idea back in the day. And so you would see videos kind of like this maybe pop up some more. This is just a family video. It's fun. It has a cute little doggo in it. Um, but it's from 2012, which I feel like is kind of late. But it's kind of charming to see that people are still... Um, uploading their their family videos to YouTube. So, so far, I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed in this, uh, what we've turned up so far. One was admittedly weird, but in kind of a familiar way to me, and the other one was just kind of a family video. Hopefully, hopefully, this changes things. Uh, it was posted by The Only Mexican Man on Reddit, uh, and it's entitled Fist of Jesus with English subtitles, a short film. So, let's see how this goes. He still has some famous lines from scripture like love your ignorant enemies, but he's also talking about how like your your heavenly creatures in a dark and ignorant world which is a little bit more bombastic than the actual uh, recorded teachings of Jesus. I do actually really like that line just because I I think intentionally or not that has some real um, some real uh, commentary okay so we're getting a resurrection story so Lazarus is dead there are some soldiers and I have to say the costuming was fine till we got to them. Oh. 
Okay, that, that joke could have been a little bit better. Pharisee and zombies, it's pretty good. So, because this is an actual short film, I don't really want to spoil anything else about it. What I will say is that it is, it is fun. I feel like it doesn't have a great comedic pace to it, but some of the jokes really do land. As 1,300 views right now, I don't know why it doesn't have more. This is really funny. Maybe it is that, you know, it just can't find an audience because it's sacrilegious or because maybe it's because it's subtitled or maybe just because it's a 14 minute long short film on YouTube. It's interesting. I'm a practicing Christian, so like this stuff should bother me. It doesn't. I think I think we can have a sense of humor about uh, these stories and this kind of stuff. All the films will be linked in the description. I say this one's actually kind of worth watching. It's fun. Um, so this one was posted by uh, Almighty Couch. It is entitled uh, Guy Raps the Importance of a Chair, uh, but the actual video is just entitled Yo Chair. So... You know, when I hear rap, this isn't the type of music I imagine, but I know that font. Anyone with iMovie or uh, Final Yo Cut chair. knows that font. You'd be sitting there pretty, I'd be sitting on you, chilling. So take a break. The black and blue, and white and orange too, but get a few. There's something I love so much about where he just decides to drop the rhyming scheme. I like give you genuine advice. Hey, hey, get a chair. But get a couple. One chair won't do ya. This is a guy who really likes chairs. I feel like this video is pretty well put together. I would never watch it again. I would have never clicked on it if it wasn't for this subreddit, but that's the beauty of the subreddit. I got to experience a minute and 28 seconds of someone's hard work. Okay, I'm gonna end on one that has just, this one I have gone back to because of the title. It was posted by TC Gunner 90 and it's called Doritos M MOV. That's it. That's the name of his post. That's the name of the video on YouTube. It only has 11 upvotes, so it may not be great. That last one with the dude with the chair, that one had 500. So like, this may be a bust. It's 30 seconds. And here's your number two, no pickles. Uh, I had ordered the Doritos and mini bites instead. Well, let me take care of that for you. I got, I thought that was much funnier than it probably is. There's a part at the end which I won't show because uh, it sold the video for me. The first part I'm like okay this is fun it could be like an old Doritos commercial I don't know but it's funny like it's a good conceit I know I've seen stuff like it before but I find it funny but then there's one shot at the end that just seals the deal and makes it way funnier than it actually is and I kind of love it. I think the point of this video today is that YouTube is the wild west that it was in 2008 and sometimes uh, we just forget that uh, buried under the algorithm of well produced and good content. But you know, it wouldn't be YouTube without the weird short films, the odd music videos, and whatever the chair rap was. I will see y'all tomorrow.